You almost had it there. Yeah, see how I, I, was, yeah. I was pushing yeah. down here? Yeah. Going like this? Yeah. Okay. So this is the start of our second video about building jet boats. This is day three and four of our jet boat built. I forgot to introduce myself in the first video. My name is Alex Shaw. This is my shop. It's a nonprofit. It's called Marin Mate in Sausalito, California. I'm gonna use this boat as an example about what we're trying to achieve today. This is our first boat we did. And so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna weld on the sides of the boat, which are here one continuous piece of aluminum that we bend around and it attaches to the chine under here. After we do that on both sides, we grab this piece of aluminum that's here, it's called the combing, and uh, we weld that on and then work it around and do that on both sides. And then it all comes together and if everything lines up, then we're ready to put on the foredeck. We take the foredeck we put on top. We, we had to trim off a little bit of the excess on around it to make it fit perfectly but once we get it to fit then we tack weld it in place and uh and then that's pretty much the end of the tricky tack welding this is what i call stringer preparation we have to mark off where they're supposed to go we weld them in place and at that point we are ready for the side panels side panel on and what's important is that the corner here matches up with the corner here and this little corner here has to be matching up here. So here we're tacking the side panels on, finessing the sides of the boat, starting in the back, working our way to the front. When you get to the front, you gotta use some muscle to get the nose to line up with the chine. Here we're doing the other side, once again starting in the back, and you tack weld it around to the front. We gotta kinda of muscle it into place. This is starting at the tricky part. We use a clamp to try to bend the side part to match the hull shape, where we gotta try real hard to get it to attach to the chine. But invariably, the tack welds pop. We had to do this a few times where we had to grind off the tack weld. This is the tricky part where we have to use a clamp to kind of bend the side part. We found that if we tack it up in the front to start, then we can work our way backwards from the front. What we found is 
the best way to do it is to put a clamp on the top and then use a hydraulic ram to push up against the force of the clamp pulling down to bring the chine up to the side of the boat. We got the hydraulic ram at Harbor Freight. Packing up the nose together. And we got the spreader at Harbor Freight as well. Here you have the combing, which went into place pretty easily on both sides. and the foredeck with a strap to try to bring the nose up to meet the foredeck. We only had to shave off like an eighth of an inch and that's basically the end of the tricky stuff. Okay, so the next step is we go to the back of the boat. We gotta weld in this triangular piece here that goes in the back, welds to the side of the boat. We do that on both sides, and then this gets welded on later. We weld on this aluminum round bar that goes on across the middle here, and then we fit the diamond plate swim platform. We, we don't wanna tack this in right away because uh, it's, it makes it a lot easier to deal with the motor and the hole for the motor to not have this in the way, so we just we do this later. And then you'll notice we, we made a different stomp grate, like a foot, that goes down for the stomp grate. And this is the paint we used. It's, it's Raptor Tough Protective Coating. It's like 150 bucks or something, and uh, it takes about an hour and a half to spray on. And I think that's about it. So that wraps up days three and four of our jet boat build. Things have come together very nicely, thanks to the kit that Jetstream puts together for us uh, and for everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna get busy on days five and six next, which uh, is a lot of welding and grinding. So uh, look out for the video of that coming up soon.